Hello everyone, uh, Jake here again, UX designer for Tax Act Professional. Um, what I wanted to do, since we're kind of on this topic of tax planning and just how important it is and how you can kind of unlock the power of tax planning for your tax practice, I wanted to show you a really easy tool that is in Tax Act Professional that allows you to use some of the principles and thought processes that we are uncovering today. Um, so, uh, you know, you may have used this tool before in the past, you may never have. I'm going to kind of talk through this as if this is the first time uh, you are seeing this tool in the program to begin with. Speaking of tool, how you're going to access the tax calculator, uh, which is what we're going to be discussing, is actually going to be when you've got a return open. Um, so I've got my uh, client, John Jackson's return open right now. As you can see, I've put in some information such as a W-2. Um, we've already kind of got an idea of what's owed, etc. I can actually go up here to tools. When I click tools, I'm going to be given um, a bunch of different possible tools that I can use here. Um, but what I'm really interested in showing you today is our tax calculator. So if you hit that, um, you'll actually see here um, what it does is it projects forward kind of this federal tax calculator and you've got these three columns which are going to be marked as plan A, B, and C. And as you can kind of see, they naturally go in order of 2022 to 2023 to 2024. And this allows me to actually run through some possible scenarios with my client. So as you can see here, I was actually playing with this a little bit earlier and I was saying, hey, well, what if you had, you know, married filing joint um, this tax season? And I can answer some questions here, such as, you know, were they dependent on someone else? You know, like a parent's return, number of children under the age of 17 um, who qualify for that child tax credit. Um, you know, you could put that information here, including the wages for the taxpayer and the spouse. And in fact, just to give us a little bit of diversity here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, just fill in some information for these following years. So I'm going to say married filing joint. And then I'm going to say at plan C, um, we're going to do head of household. And we're going to say uh, for this one, we're just going to say there's one. So we're going to say that in 2024, one of those um, children has officially kind of aged out, if you will. Um, and I'm going to say that the income for John Jackson is roughly $110,000. Um, and again, just kind of putting in some arbitrary information so that you can sort of see um, the difference uh, in results that you'll get here. So you can put in the spouse's income, you can put in the interest income, um, you know, you've got your dividends, etc. This is going to be really, really helpful. Um, things like the IRA distributions, when you begin talking to your client and kind of making a plan for the next few years, you know, you can kind of say, hey, well, I think that um, if roughly these are, you know, the interest income you're going to have for the next few years, this is how it's going to affect your taxes or how can we think about these things? Um, you also have things like um, thinking through some of the credits they may have, if they paid alimony, um, et cetera, for other, you know, rental, uh, real estate, things like that. These are essentially things that are obviously going to affect, um, you know, overall that tax um, planning, you know, that's, and this is where you really get into the meat and potatoes here is, you know, these are the things that really affect it. If we can see this total income, what it is for these three different years, then you can come in here and really begin thinking through, oh, you know, you're going to move. Um, well, if you know you're going to move, we can say that some of your moving expenses um, actually counts towards um, us being able to write that off. Or we can say, you know, your student loan interest. Um, or we can say your, um, you know, IRA deductions, right? Um, oh, are you planning on withdrawing from your savings, uh, et cetera? I'm going to go ahead and just say that we are planning on withdrawing from savings. Um, and as you can see here, um, it's going to kind of calculate some of those adjustments, right? It's going to still give you that AGI. And then it's going to let you know, hey, are you still... Um, taking, you know, that standard deduction. Um, do you qualify for any of these things? It lets you know what that standard deduction amount is based on your income. Um, or you can actually plan forward for the itemized deductions, right? Um, so this whole form is pretty in-depth. 
Um, and as you can see with the three different plans, it really kind of lets you know what is the taxable income you're really going to have and what can you expect to be the tax in these different scenarios, right? So this allows you just to really open up conversations with your clients about what works for them and what their goals are um, when it comes to their finances and viewing taxes as a thing that can actually set them up for some of that financial success. So you're able to go in here. I can show you all day of the different things that are calculated here, but essentially it is a playground here that allows you to have those conversations with your clients. So I highly recommend um, if you are using tax that professional, um, apply some of the principles that we're gonna learn today about tax planning, and then also come in here, play around with this and really figure out how you could best utilize this tool in your practice moving forward. Thank you for watching. My name is Jake. I hope that you are happy with Tax App Professional. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to call our customer success line. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day.